Hey, Shalom, Makyam. Hey, call out, y'all, Bashim Yahushai. Want to say, Barak the Yahweh. Barak the Yahushai. Barak the Yahweh. Barak the Yahushai. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Mostone. Much love, honor, respect to all you brothers out there that's holding it down, pushing this knowledge in sincerity and truth on this sphere, on this globe, because we are in the last days. We are the Hebrew Israelites, who consist of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Seminole Indians. And the Israelite foreigners throughout the whole planet, this globe, all right? So we are in, a, we are in some very serious times. And us brothers that have this truth, this is not a game. It's not a time to be messing around. It's not a time to be messing, with this, messing around with this truth. It's not a time to be presumptuous. It's not a time to be a fucking nigga, man. All right? Because the heavenly force is going to leave your ass here. You're going to get melted, all right? So this, this lesson is going to be the second death. I'm going to jump right into it because I've been trying to upload this video. For the last 30 minutes, I keep getting interrupted because I'm on the job. So I'm going to jump right into it, man, Lord willing. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. All right? Shall be stubble, man. All right? So what was stubble, man? You, you're going to get melted down, man, into uh, man, into ashes, man, pretty much. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Said the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Hey, that's your whole body structure, man. It's going to get melted away. It's going to be, you're going to get, you're going to get burnt up in fire, man. It's going to be some agonizing pain, man. Okay, and we the prophets are here to tell our people, man. They're here to warn you. Okay, the next scripture I want to get, Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. That have fought against Jerusalem. Jerusalem is us, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Not those gutter rats over there in Israel. Out here in L.A. Out here in fucking... And out there in New York, man. In, um, in um, King's Highway. East, not King's Highway. Eastern Parkway, right? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What can cause that, man? That's that thermonuclear war that's coming, man. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. All right? That's what's going to happen. And that's the second death, man. The Heavenly Father is coming back with great wrath and great fury. All right? This the next scripture I want to get. This is a Second Peter chapter 3, verse 7. This is Second Peter chapter 3, verse 7. But the heavens and the earth which are now, this heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word are kept in story, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Perdition means destruction. Jump down to verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall, shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. So what are the works that are therein of this earth, man? These buildings, these cars, all right? You, man, you name it, man. These animals, these wicked-ass people, man, going to get burnt up. All right? Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person you ought to be in all holy conversation and godliness? You're damn right. Yo, this, this ain't time to be messing around, brothers. It ain't time to be playing games with y'all about Shimia or Shah. We in a time of judgment. We're gonna jack your ass up, man. Alright? Especially brothers that's got this truth, man. Do the best you can, man. Fight the good fight until death, brothers. Including myself, first and foremost. Next scripture I want to get is our Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand, now let's break this down. The beast in his image represents this system, man. The NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the EU, the European Union, America, man. Worshiping the system is talking about, you know, you, you like being here, man. You are with the, uh, the, 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 the structure of this life, man, how the, how the way things are going, man. We like being here, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to live forever here. You look, you're making future future plans to be here, man. All right? And his, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his right hand represents the RFID chip. The radio frequency identification chip. All right? But you're going to put in your right hand or your forehead or wherever they're going to put it on your body, man. The same shall drink of the wine of, of the wrath of the most side, which is poured out without mixture. No chaser, all right? Into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with the with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angel in the presence of the of his lambs. 
So when the Heavenly Father sent his son back, Yahweh shining, what you call the UFO, spaceships, the chariots of Israel, the elect is going, is going to get beamed up while simultaneously these missiles are coming down. Or we're going to see these, these, these this place getting burnt up in fire looking down from the uh, from the chariots, man. That's the presence of the angels and, and, uh, and Yahweh Shai. That's what that's talking about. The next scripture I want to get. This is our Revelation chapter 2, verse 11. Revelation chapter 2, verse to heaven, verse 11. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. He that had an ear, let him hear. Meaning you have some type of understanding. The most I open your mind. Take heed what the Spirit say unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Now, let's figure out, figure out what the second death is. Scripturally, because we already know it's, it's that fire and brimstone that's coming to this place. But the scripture clearly, clearly brings it down. This Revelation chapter 20, verse 14. I'm going to uh, yeah, uh, start at... Uh, Start at 13. No, I'm starting at 12, Salakia. And I saw the dead, some small and great, stand before the Most High. It's talking about the afterlife right here. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And, and the dead were judged out of these things which are written in the books according to their work. So that when you die, this is what happened, man. The spirit go back to the spiritual world. And everything you've done in your life is being brought forth before your eyes, man. And the sea gave up the dead which were which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they would judge every man according to their works. There it is, you get judged according to your works, man. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. So that's a cut. There's no hell, all right? The lake of fire is what's going to happen over here in the United States of America. This is the second death, all right? You get it? This is the second death. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Those, that's the two thirds. You fucking crackers over here. You got them heathens, man. You freaks. You bisexuals, man. You motherfuckers, man. Lord gonna fuck you up, man. Lord gonna fuck your shit up, man. All right, everything you, you think you got in this world, your your vanity, your women, all this shit, you gonna you motherfucker, most high gonna leave you here. You gonna get melted, man. And you know what, man? I'm sorry, man. I, I actually script skipped. One of my favorite scriptures, man. Lord gonna leave you here and melt you, man. This is Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 19. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, because all all ye slack, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you in the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So I will gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you, the second death. Yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath. He shall be melted in the midst thereof, the second death. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall he be melted in the midst thereof. He shall know that I, Yahweh, have poured out my fury upon you. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Much love, honor, respect to all your brothers, man. Stay strong and um, shalom.